name is Wad and I'm in my entering my third year of medical school at U of T. Uh, the resources I would say I found the most useful in first year were both online and and actual like holdable materials. So I commuted for the first two months and I found it really helpful to be able to use the books that were present at Gerstein Library, especially the anatomy atlases and the access to course books that they had because I didn't want to, sometimes you don't really want to buy a book if you're only going to be using it for one semester and having it in the library is really helpful. Um, in addition to this, I used heavily things like Medline Plus for PBL, I also used Harrison's Online for PBL, and my favorite resource for first year was probably the Primal Pictures, because uh, sometimes I didn't feel like going into the lab, it would be too crowded, and this uh, application or this program allowed you to dissect um, online and allowed you to rotate the specimen so it felt like I was doing an, a dissection but without the smell and the cold and the people in the lab and it was really helpful at midnight when you're frantically reviewing your anatomy before the exam the next day. So those were the resources I would say I found the most helpful in my first year of medical school at U of T. Hi my name is Derek, I'm a second year medical student going into third year this fall and I'd like to share some of the resources that I found useful for first year and second year with you. Um, the three most useful online resources to me were UpToDate, Medline, and MD Consult. UpToDate is really useful for PBL sessions since it has um, topics written about 99% of, uh, of the um, questions or um, homework assignments that you'll get from PBL. So you can just enter your homework assignment into the search box on UpToDate and it'll pull up an extremely appropriate um, article, review article written on that for you. The second one was Medline, which was useful for your uh, for DOC, uh, for the research project that you have to do in second year, as well as any other research projects that you might undertake on your own through perhaps a CREM summer research position or another kind of research position. So the most important resources to me in second year were research-based and PBL-based because in second year you get a lot more problem-based learning and we were lucky enough at U of T to have access to UpToDate which is the most amazing resource in the world and really helps you do PBL a lot faster and provides you uh, with access to very good information. I also used Harrison's online a lot in second year because the material did become a lot more clinical um, and I found that I did need something to supplement the lectures that we were having. And also for DOC, I really, really relied heavily on the article searching that was provided by the Gerstein Library as well as um, Medline because uh, and PsychInfo because my project was had a lot more um, psychosocial factors in it to address so I had to find papers using that technique. Uh, lastly, um, I found MD Consult very helpful. It's available through the CMA website and you can find a large database of textbooks and other review articles there uh, that can supplement uh, your lecture notes and your lectures with information that's a bit more in-depth and it's really easy to search and it's like being able to walk into a library and just find the most appropriate textbook right off the bat and exactly which page to. Um, the other resource I would say that I wish I had looked at was there's a link called Evidence-Based Medicine and it, uh, it's for physician's assistants but it provides you with links to like how to find differential diagnoses, how to explore different symptoms, what kind of treatments to pursue so it's kind of like a fractionated version of UpToDate and I wish I had had access to that or looked at it earlier and just this past month actually I discovered that we could link articles directly from PubMed to through the U of T system if we are logged in with our UTOR ID and I wish I'd known that <laughs> during DOG because it would have saved me so much time um, instead of manually typing in each title into the searching, um, I guess, area on the Gerstein website. I only found out about the CMA website about halfway through first year and I found that useful also for uh, ASCOM so I would have liked to have known about that earlier on.